Today's adventure begins by going down this dirt road, well, rocky dirt sand road. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. I have made it down this very beautiful thoroughfare through the canopy of trees. And speaking of trees, I have arrived at Angel's Oak, a low country treasure. Now the gate is only open until 5 p.m. daily and the gift shop closes at 4.30. And I will just be traversing around, by the way, I have my piping hot caffeinated beverage, the sun. Sun is nice, it's, it's probably about 40, 44, 45 degrees today, not too windy, very nice. I'm inviting you to join me, shall you? Let's peruse. Start walking in. Do not sit on the tree. Sit under the tree. Pull on the branches. Oh, those are pretty obvious for a historic tree like this. And can walk directly underneath the branches as the sun glistens across my face and I enjoy my coffee. I am underneath this majestic tree. Look at this thing. Oh, it is so nice out here. The weather's so nice. It's peaceful. Not a lot of people quite yet. Still kind of early. Just to give the size ratio, this is me standing underneath this tree. I was just informed by one of the workers here communicating from the gift shop just off to the side that I'm not allowed to have any beverages underneath the tree. No food or drinks. Didn't realize it, so I moved over here. This thing is, it's hard to get it all in one frame. All right, I wanna move on. Right off this road in an industrial park, a lot of storage centers all around me. And straight ahead is Carter City self-storage. This business has been in the family for over 90 years. And what I want to show is this old cypress tree. I want to, you know, I want a tree kick. Now, supposedly there used to be a placard through here as well, but I'm not seeing any sort of information on it. Oh, I am not looking in the right place. Here is the information. Right here, let me get a little better angle on this. God made this old tree and I and we often wonder why the people in this world, this old world, are so discontent. My answer? All of those things. I think a lot would agree with Mr. Grayson Carter on that. That is pretty dang cool. I really like how the top does resemble a lighthouse. Turning in the breeze right there. The wind is making this flamingo nod its head. Check it out. It's a real place. Hollywood, South Carolina. The town of Hollywood. Small, but progress Eve, spelled with a E V E. You know, I lived in Hollywood, California for two years, right off the boulevard, Hollywood Boulevard. So it's always fascinating to go to another Hollywood. And that sign is located right across from this one, this RV park. I really like that quote up there. Yeah, I agree. This is your year, make it happen. Right over there is the Hollywood market. Kind of rolls off the tongue, the Hollywood market parentheses, South Carolina. I'm on my way now to North Charleston, about a half hour from where I was. See if I can get a peek at something, a little filming location here on the outskirts of North Charleston. All right, I just talked to the owners. Keep in mind that this is on private property. And when you head in, you have to open the gate and it says no one's allowed back here, but a friend of a friend gave me the contact of the owner and they're letting me go look at the house from Halloween 2018. Lori Strode's house. 
which hearsay is it's gonna be bulldozed soon. Now I do realize before getting to this subject, this was completely unplanned and last minute, but I am not going to turn down the opportunity of being able to walk into the very empty, completely open, to the elements, Lori Strode House from the 2018 Halloween. So I guess everything leading up to this moment, it was just kind of a pre, a pre-vlog to the main subject of the vlog, but you know, that's just how it works. But this will be the focus, obviously. It is interesting how a day works out. This is not how I planned the day when I started. You have the brick sidewalk leading up here. Definitely not in the most pres pristine condition anymore. And I can see why over time. Oh, something just, something's rooting around that tree over there. Now keep in mind, this was not the same facade that burned down in the newest one, the one that came out last year. This is the one from 18. And then might have been used in the newest one. I only saw the newest one once. And to be honest, I like the 18 version more than the, the newest one. Evil dies tonight. I, I don't know, I just did for something about something about that one just didn't didn't strike a chord as much. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't love it. There were some good things about it. But I like the 18 one. I don't know, it could be one of the few that probably enjoyed the 18 more than the the one that just came out. This is pretty wild. Over here, this view, if you're familiar with the film, is where the guy and girl walk up and knock on the door. They want to do the interview with Lori. Kind of going a lot off memory. I didn't print out any screen captures or anything like that, but all right, going in. Wow. This is the same area where the interview took place, right here. In fact, you can see the brickwork. Look at that. The camera angle was up here. Yeah, up on the staircase. Looking down. And then over here, the kitchen. Oh my. Gosh, no way, the cellar. You have got to be kidding me. Really? I, I am just blown away that I'm able to walk around in here. Like inside Strode's house. Well, Lori Strode's house. Isn't that incredible? Going up the staircase now. Um, hoping it's structurally sound. It's like Michael had a little something to do with that perhaps. In fact, there was one moment where he was going down the stairs and was right here, kind of looking out towards the door. And yeah, there was some furniture over in here. down to where the interview area was. There was like a chimney or a stove or something right there in the centerpiece. Obviously not there anymore, but you could see where it was sitting. And then another moment where she was down at the front door there, looking up the stairs with the weapon. And this is the same room. Same upstairs bedroom. This tree is growing through the window there. I am just, I don't know, this, this took me by surprise. This took me by surprise, honestly. When you wake up in the morning 
you don't really know how the day is going to go and you're just out traveling and then all of a sudden an opportunity presents itself and you just something like this you just have to have to get on right at the right at the moment the opportunity presents itself so i was in the neighborhood I was contacted by a friend of a friend and talked to the owners and the owners gave me permission to come on the property and walk around. Keep in mind this is private property and not anyone can just drive by. You cannot see this from the road. But I'm very thankful for, for this being able to be documented. File this one under a house that is most likely going to be destroyed very soon from a franchise that really needs no introduction and this could be one of the last times it's documented for posterity more than just a matching up of a filming location and screen grabs and things of what's happening right through here but you can watch the scenes all of them are easily findable but as stated, this, this is something that really could not turn down this opportunity. Look at this. Looks like Myers has busted the door down. I don't think this is the same door. They probably use a different door. Wow. I know I just keep sta stating the wow over and over. But I am, I am in awe right now. You know, obviously the Carpenter movies are my favorites. You know, the original Pasadena, the house in Pasadena. If I would have been able to walk through that house, well, not the Strode house, but the Myers house, just to kind of use that same example. But the Strode house is also in South Pasadena, over off Oxley, I believe. But if I could walk through any of those with this ease. So this is a, definitely a special moment. Continuing on now this way. This other room with uh, another fireplace. Okay, this is the second fireplace. There's another door here. I was thinking maybe that was the one that was on the front door, but it's not. It's just this little alcove closet area here. And the door was right there at one time. Looking back out on the porch. Might be a little lengthy, obviously, but never know when any of this could come back as like a historical, you know, footage of filming location. Just trying to show a lot of the angles. But obviously most of it happened over in these rooms.
And you can see back here some standing water. Got the mat down there that's kind of soaking wet, but the roof is caving in. Back here around the back angle. I was not expecting the the home to be in this this type of shape. No pun intended. Come down. Kind of getting the chills a little bit. And it's not just because the weather's cold. Anything in here? The basement? Obviously they use a set for that down in there. But you can see underneath the house. Put this over the top of me to hide from to hide from miners. This is so freaking cool. Ugh. So cool. pool back here as well. All filled with kind of swampy water. You know, there's a lot of horror film stuff that doesn't remain anymore. It's either been torn down or burned down or destroyed. A lot of stuff comes to mind like the cabin from Friday the 13th part three which is gone on the ranch out in, out in Santa Clarita. That's just one of many, but that's why I'm really kind of soaking this in. Gonna look at the wallpaper here, some of the little details, as well as the woodwork, the paneling. Well, I don't call it paneling, but the woodwork you can kind of match up a lot of these little notches and knobs and the discoloration on the side of the wall as well. And looking out on the porch from the front door. The light switches there. Windows all busted out. Be very careful, I don't want to get cut. You know, while I'm on the subject of horror film houses, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, now it's like a bed and breakfast or a restaurant, but when it was in its original spot before they moved it, and it was kind of in this type of shape, a few guys got inside and got to walk around. I've always been so jealous that they got to see that house before, before it was cleaned up and and everything. Granted, thankfully that still remains. This might not stick around, but I'm kind of seeing it and how it was in the film. It was only a few years ago, it was 2018. All right, go back outside. Now there are quite a few people that I know have covered in great detail the Halloween 2018 and the follow-up filming locations. 
Go Malfuck Sean. Sean Clark did a great job on the new one. Also, Grim Life Collective was here, I believe, a couple years ago, got inside the house. And then also Scott on Tape, who did an expansive, very extensive video of the 2018 spots. Also got inside the house, but also covered all of the spots around Charleston area. So check out his video, Scott on Tape, just look it up. You can see that, but those three guys I know personally and have covered it pretty well. So this is more of a kind of an update than it is a filming location video, if you will. Something a little different than what I've done, you know, usually do. But this is awesome. There's also a shed over here off to the side as well. It's kind of down the down the road a little bit past the house which the house would be in proximity right over there. This is extra footage. Wallpaper still up here on the side of this wall. To attach room, so this room goes through the bathroom into the other room, the upstairs rooms. Some blue tape here. Sometimes you'll see this on productions. And these for actors and actresses. Uh, Put an X on the ground for their mark. I don't know if that's what that is, but. Yeah, love the wood on the side there. All right, that's it. Isn't this interesting? How the living room area, there's a little bit of a separation here between this facade wall into the kitchen. See, there's like a gap of about two feet leading into the kitchen. Man, you can see where the paper's peel being peeled off the wall there. I know this is a this is just going overboard, but probably will never be in here again. And that's gonna do it for today. From North Charleston. Well on the outskirts of North Charleston, South Carolina. The Strode House from 2018. Amazing. Awesome. So freaking awesome. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.